Finally, Scott, and I'm grateful for your time as always, uh, the English-speaking king of Jordan, uh, uh, who, when he took the throne, literally could not speak Arabic and now speaks it with a rather splendid English accent. Uh, he was the only Arab leader, if we can call him an Arab, call him a leader, uh, who collaborated with Israel and the United States last night. Even their much more important and longer standing uh, allies declined uh, the opportunity to do that. Why did uh, King Abdullah do that? Uh, has he not placed himself in very severe difficulty now with his own population, which is overwhelmingly uh, opposed to Israel, overwhelmingly in support of the Palestinians in Gaza. What, f what on earth forced King Abdullah to do that? Well, I call him the least Arab leader in the Arab world. As you pointed out, he, um, yeah. you know, his, his, his roots, his, his ideology, his mindset is very British. It's not. Uh, it, it's not of the Arab street. He is so far removed from the reality of his people, um, and he is so dependent upon Israel. And I put Israel first, then the United States and in Europe for uh, his continued viability as a leader. Um, his betrayal of the Palestinian cause is, is is apparent to all, and now his betrayal of the Arab world and indeed the Muslim world is on display. Uh, likewise, um, he knows he's in a lot of trouble. The most dangerous thing in the world for the Hashemite king of Jordan is happening. And that is that the Palestinian people have a pathway to statehood. And a Palestinian state is perhaps the greatest threat to this artificial entity called the Hashemite kingdom of Jordan. Because he's not a Jordanian. He is a Saudi Arabian transplant. Um, and his, I believe the the, his, he may be the last Hashemite king of Jordan. That um, I don't wish upon him the fate of the last Hashemite king of Iraq, but I do believe that it's time for the king of Jordan to take his family and his retinue and fly off to London and live where he belongs among the British people he uh, he so adores, because he is reviled and hated amongst his own people and now amongst the entire Arab and Muslim world. He be, is a betrayer of the cause of the people of Palestine.